Hello everyone, this is Ms. Natalie, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well and safe and sound. In this tutorial, I will explain the material included for week number five. So let's start with the first day of this week, which is the 4th of January, sorry, the 4th of February. And now on this day, we are going to continue our session regarding the vocabulary B and making it, um, I would say, the second training session. We are going to play a game that will enhance your understanding of the vocabulary terms. Uh, the game is called hot, the hot seat. Okay. So, um, as for the vocabulary section, we have hot seat, vocabulary words, teamwork, descriptions, synonyms, antonyms, and definitions. You also have a PPT to understand uh, the instructions of this game. Uh, of course, you have the word document uh, attached of the words bank. You also have them via email that, I, as I sent them to you before, like two weeks. You also have tutorials to aid your understanding. This information on this BC page should be revised before um, or prior to the class. Okay, so please come prepared as everything you either uh, get marks or you lose marks. Okay, so please, it all depends on your memorization and understanding of the words. On the second day of this week, we are going to tackle the second part of the author of the month. You are going to present your work on carton papers about Ray, the author Ray Bradbury, his biography, the science fiction, and the novel Fahrenheit 451. All groups will present on this day, and each group has its own, I would say, task to cover. On this page, we're going to have uh, aiding PPTs, tutorials and instructions. Um, on the third day of this week, we are going to start with a new, I would say, text. It's a poem under the same unit, unit number six, uh, World's End. The poem's title is The Beginning of the End of the World. Um, in this lesson, we are going to discuss the poet's biography, the background information, and we are going to apply um, or, let's say, brief analysis of the poem as a whole using the TP FAST method. We are going to talk about it in details in class. It's like it's a tool or a method that help that usually help you build an overview of your understanding of the poem. Um, this is the attached ebook um, of the poem. You also have tutorials. Um, as for the interactive activity number one, I just set some information that will aid you throughout finding information about the poet's biography and the background story. And this is the attached TP Fast method. Just click on the image, it's going to download the document that you need to fill, and so on. Now, on the next day of this week, we are going to start with the close analysis of the poem. Um, you are going to revise your TP Fast method file that you filled uh, in the previous day. It will help you closely analyze the poem. Okay, you're going to build connections, you're going to rely on poetic devices and themes like humans versus nature or the end of the world. Uh, you have tutorials to aid you and also you have a specific activity that tells you exactly how to closely analyze. For example, we are going to focus in this class on stanza number one. So you're going to use your TP fast method that you filled to fulfill the other requirements that are stated here. On the last day of this week, we are going to tackle a new topic in grammar, the types of sentences, simple, compound, and complex. Uh, the conceptual key terms are clauses, dependent, independent, conjunctions, main clauses, complex sentences, subordinators, compound sentences, and simple sentences. You have a PPT that will explain the lesson as, along with tutorials and specific uh, interactive activities that are found uh, externally and internally, just like in Savas. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.